local home kitchen operators in San Diego County. They're excited that county supervisors went ahead and gave the green light to their businesses. A new law allows cooks to make a living by preparing and selling meals. and They can do it right from their own homes, but there are a few restrictions. CBS 8's Heather Hope spoke to one happy chef in the South Bay about how she's spicing up her menu. Bringing the taste of home literally from home, small business owners are elated of the recent passing of the Micro Enterprise Home Kitchen Ordinance. Roasting nuts on a skillet for flavor, Chef Diana Tapiz is preparing her popular mole. A very special ingredient in this mole is our dates. This is how we sweeten it. Just this week, San Diego County supervisors formally approved the Home Kitchen Program, also known as the Micro Enterprise Home Kitchens Ordinance. With this law, it means that we can continue that journey, we can invest safely, and we can, and we can actually have a return from our home. It is possible and actually save for that future brick and mortar for that future food truck. We don't know. This is an opportunity we're building and there's many possibilities open now. Diana runs the Mexican fusion eatery Tres Fuegos Cocina from her Chula Vista home. The ordinance allows for the next two years people to operate food businesses legally from their kitchen with requirements of a food safety certificate, allowable food storage areas, potable water and ongoing testing. Home kitchen operators can also only create 60 meals for only 30 people a week. This is a great opportunity for that mom, for that person that has always wanted to open a restaurant but doesn't have the savings but has the great recipes. Deanna rallied with the San Diego Micro Enterprise Home Kitchen Coalition two weeks ago to get the law passed. There are limitations, including that the food must be sold on the same day it was prepared and an annual earning cap of $50,000. Deanna had a commercial kitchen in the pandemic until... The overhead cost was extremely, extreme, much more than we anticipated. From here in our home, we didn't have those costs. County supervisors approved a second reading of the ordinance in a unanimous vote on Wednesday. This is what we know San Diego needs more of, <laughs> fresh, delicious food. From tomahawk steaks to mole verde short ribs. We're displaying the deliciousness of this mole. Diana says cooking from her home was her late mother's passion. And it was always her, her dream to share her kitchen with the community and have a side business um, to be able to provide for her eight children. And this home kitchen ordinance is to take effect in the next 30 days, so get your kitchens ready by the end of February. Heather Hope, CBS 8.